Alright, hello guys and welcome to my second updated winter forecast. I'm very excited to present this video to you because there's been some very major changes in all the aspects of this forecast, so I highly recommend you watch the entire thing through if you are in the United States, of course. Now, before we get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content. I make all sorts of videos like this and also videos for winter storms and things of that nature. Also, check out the links in the description for my social medias. Now, we're going to get right into this video right now. We're looking at our precipitation forecast and I'm going to break it down region by region right now. First off, we're starting with the southwestern United States for California, Nevada, Arizona, and Washington. And we have slightly below average precipitation in that lighter shade of kind of a tannish color there from southern Oregon into, again, western Nevada and western Arizona. And then we have our darker shade of almost a brown color there that extends over the entire state of California. And that's where we're expecting a moderately below average precipitation as we won't have an El Nino present. This is going to lead to a, you know, decreased chance in a lot of precipitation hitting the California area. So we're expecting a more dry winter because of those reasons. Now, also, we're going to have above average precipitation for a lot of reasons. First off, starting out with the south central United States. So New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, areas like that, we're going to be expecting slightly above average precipitation for these regions with some storms developing within this region. This will be pretty slight and you won't really notice it too much. Now also for the north central United States from Montana into the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, those areas we're going to be expecting also slightly above average precipitation. With the chance for quite a few clipper systems this winter, I'm expecting that to be a pretty common storm track with the clipper systems. If you live in this region, you're obviously well aware of what the clipper system brings to you guys. It's a pretty much, you know, straight up snowstorm, not a lot of rain involved with these systems. It's a very cold snow and it's not going to drop too much snow, but there will be quite a few of them. So over time, you will end up getting a lot of snow from these storms as multiple of them hit your area. Now, for the east coast of the United States, again, we have slightly above average precipitation for the entire east coast of the United States, but there is an area of a moderate shade of green there, and that's where we're expecting a moderate amount of above average precipitation, as there's going to be a coastal storm track, I believe, that tracks pretty far inland most of the time, but sometimes it'll it'll be far enough offshore for a lot of the coast to get this precipitation, but most of the time... The most precipitation is going to be from northern Georgia in through the Appalachian Mountains up through West Virginia, portions of Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, and then northern interior New England. So northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern interior Maine. This is a lot like what we saw last winter, and I think that that could be the heart of the snow this year. We'll get into that at, in my overall forecast, which will be towards the end of the video, where you'll see a lot more about that. Now we're going to move on to our temperature forecast, and again, we're going to break it down region by region, starting off with the, with the west coast of the United States. In that kind of lighter shade of orange, we're expecting slightly above normal temperatures for this region from Washington, Oregon, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, and portions of New Mexico as well. Again, this won't be too noticeable, and there will be cold at times, obviously, but it will be quite a few degrees above average if you look at the entire winter as a whole. And there will be warmer months and colder months, of course. That's how we always see it happen. Now, for California and southern Arizona, we have that moderate shade of orange. And that's where we're expecting a much better chance and much more um, intense above average temperatures. It will be more degrees above average than the, the other orange shade. And this will be a lot more noticeable for these regions as it's going to be quite warm Pretty much throughout the entire winter, I believe, there will be some cooldowns. There always is, but I do think that it will be warmer than the rest of the United States comparatively to normal. Now, from Montana down in through Col uh, Wyoming, Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, into Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, we have slightly below normal temperatures for this region. And then also for the entire East Coast, we have these same conditions with slightly below normal conditions. Again, this won't be too noticeable. It'll be pretty near average, but on paper, it will be slightly below normal temperatures. And there will be some months where it's a little bit warmer than others. And there might be some one or two very cold months within this winter. That's going to be for future winter updates as I'll break it down more month by month as we get closer to the season of winter. 
We do have a moderate shade of blue here that extends from the Dakotas down through portions of Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, into Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, and then also for portions of mountainous uh, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and New York there in the Finger Lakes region. And then we have a third shade of blue, and this is where we're expecting far below normal temperatures. This is, again, pretty similar to last winter, this part of it at least, where Minnesota, Wisconsin, portions of Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio are going to be expecting far below normal temperatures comparatively to normal. And this will be pretty persistent cold shots, and there will be some weeks where it is extremely cold comparatively to normal and extremely cold in general for these regions. But we have seen this in previous winters. 2014 to 2015 is an analog of mine that I'm using, and that is also a year where we had a very, very cold January for these regions, and further out west we had a very, very cold February that year. Now we're going to move on to your snowfall forecast, but before I do that, go ahead and comment down below the town that you live in, and there is a chance that I will give you a written forecast for your town also give the state, just in case you live in a smaller town and I can't find it. And if you leave that comment, I'm going to select three people to be shouted out in my next winter forecast video. So if you do leave your town, you will be entered into that random selection where you will be eligible to be selected randomly to be shouted out in my next winter forecast. So go ahead and do that. I highly recommend you also have to like the video, by the way. Now, we're going to break this one down region by region once again for the snowfall anomalies here. And obviously in the west, we do have that slightly below average snowfall with drier and warmer conditions. That should be quite obvious. So west of the Rockies, we're expecting slightly below normal snowfall. And then for California, we're expecting a moderate you know, moderate chance and moderate amount of below normal snowfall. Without that storm track, there won't be too much snow for California, unfortunately. Now, also in that Clipper region, again, for Montana, the Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, obviously we have some slightly above normal snowfall for these regions expected. Great Lakes region as well. Then also for Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma, the Gulf states, Tennessee, Kentucky, we're also expecting above normal snowfall or slightly above normal snowfall and up the East Coast. But there is that third sh or second shade of blue from northern Georgia up through the Appalachian mountain range into Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, and interior New England where we are expecting pretty far above normal snowfall for these regions as this will be the most common storm track and most commonly affected area by snowfall this winter. Now we're going to get into my overall forecast and this one is always, always my favorite. It is so beautiful to make. There's all sorts of colors. It's like my paint canvas and I just toss the paint on. I love making them. Now, we're going to break this one down region by region as well. California, more dry than normal. You're also warmer than normal, but the dry is going to be the most noticeable effect there. Outside of California, uh, west of the Rockies, we're expecting warmer than normal conditions for some of the four corner states, Nevada, Idaho, Oregon, Washington. But in that white region, we are expecting mountain snow for a lot of regions in Washington, Montana, Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. In those mountain ranges, we will be obviously still seeing some snowfall for you guys. Now, in this blue region, just to the east of that, we're expecting cold at times. There will be warm-ups and there will be cool-downs, but when it is cold, it will be quite cold. We did see that in 2014 to 2015. There might even be a month where this is kind of the heart of the cold right here, just to the east of the Rockies. That would not surprise me. So these areas will still be quite cold just to the east of the Rockies and in the Rockies. Now, to the south of you, I don't have anything written here, but this is where I'm expecting average conditions and also quite flip-floppy pattern where it's going to come out as average, but there will be some cooler times and some warmer times within this region for New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas. Now, for this purple region, we're expecting Arctic blasts from portions of Montana, the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, and Kentucky. This is where we're going to see the heart of the cold come down on average most of the time, particularly some of the coldest months. Uh, probably January would be the month where this is going to happen the most, but throughout December and February as well, we will see colder times. And then within that, there is an area where we say clippers. Obviously, this is where I'm expecting a lot of clippers to come through, and this will lead to, again, some above average snowfall for you guys. In that white region, we are expecting average lake effect snowfall for the lake effect areas. It won't be above average or below average, I don't believe. It could go either way, but I do expect average lake effect snow. 
Now, to the south of you is the Winter Battle Zone, and this is the region where we see a lot of mixed events. There will be some rainstorms, some ice storms, and some snowstorms, but at the end of the day, they mostly will be will be sloppy storms within this pink region. To the south of you, we're expecting cool and wet conditions, not a lot of snowfall, not a lot of ice, almost all rain for this region. There might be some snowfall, uh, some small amounts of snowfall for this region, but most of the for the most part, it's just going to be rainfall. And there's, again, another non-written region here for southern Florida. This is where it won't be necessarily cool. It's just going to be wet and stormy for this region. Now, on the east coast, we do have our coastal storms region in this kind of cyan color here. This is where we're expecting some coastal storms to track up the east coast. And sometimes, again, they will be a little bit more offshore, and this will lead to some snowfall for the coastal regions of the northeast coast of the United States. Also, some of those mountain regions in Tennessee, North Carolina might be affected by these, especially if they're Miller B clippers. Again, those will come through from the west and then lead to a coastal storm that will head up the coast. That would lead to some snowfall possibly for you guys during colder times of the winter. Now, we do have our worst of winter region. This one has not moved too much at all. Portions of Kentucky, Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, and interior New England. These regions are going to be expecting the worst of the winter, and most of the major snowstorms will be for this region, I believe. There will be some mountain snow, again, for the Rockies, which could be some of the worst snowstorms of the winter as well. But for the most part, I expect this worst of winter region to be where we expect the, the worst and most potent snowstorms and possibly even a blizzard or two. We'll have to stay tuned and watch what happens. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this entire video. I hope you really enjoyed this second winter outlook for this winter and expect many more updates. I think I'm going to be doing one every month as long as something changes with my even if it only changes a little bit, I'll probably update them around the 15th of every month. So expect one in September, October, and maybe even November. I'll have to see how things go. I might skip a few months if I don't have anything to change. Hopefully I won't, but if I do, I will be updating these. So stay tuned for that. Again, subscribe for more winter outlooks as they will be coming. And I will be making my final fall forecast in just about another 10 days or something like that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I really, really hope to see you in the next video. Have a great three months of your winter and stay warm.